What I'll ask him to do is to respond to what's happening on the screen as he would in real life. That includes verbal commands, weapon manipulation, so on and so forth. That makes sense? So, you're going to serve a rest warrant? All right. Police department. Stop! Stop! Really, Show me your hands. Do it now. What way are you gonna give me that news? You kill me. Show me your hands. Do it now. Let's talk you about it. Me. Show me your hands. Come on out. Let's talk about it. We're, We're here to help. We're just here to help, sir. All right, 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 right. Take it easy. Show me your Come hands. Out. Show me your hands. Come on out to me. Turn around. Walk backwards. Is that in my voice? Come on back. We'll get you help. Come on back. All right. At this point, we would debrief Officer Ducros. He did a good job. Everything was fairly normal. When the guy ran off, went down a hallway and disappears, becomes threatening. That's when he drew his handgun because he doesn't know what he's facing. Um, on the playback, uh, we can show him, go about mid-scenario, we can actually show the officer what he was doing at every part during the scenario as well. So there's a little camera up here that's recording the officer the whole time. Uh -oh. So we can see his response, your hand, do it what now. he's saying, and this becomes, you can stop. Let's talk about it. <clears throat> show me your hands. Come on out. Let's talk about it. Stop. We're here to help. We're just here to help, sir. So sometimes in these moments, the mind will work differently and the officer will think that they're doing something and they're not doing it. This gives us the ability to go back and show them what they actually are or are not doing in a certain part of the scenario. Does that make sense?